everybody, Tom Basil here. Welcome to our Dice Tower Retreat blog, in which we talk about what's going on at Dice Tower Retreat. Now, we've been working for two weeks already. Um, we've been working and setting up, two weeks, more than that probably. But for the last few days, we've been packing and stuff, and it's done. We're ready to open up here. Well, we'll open up in a few hours. But you know what? Before we start showing you games and things that are happening here, let's go back in time and see how Chris, what Chris was doing when we set up instead of whatever was just going on. Welcome to Saturday afternoon of the Dice Tower Retreat. You can see that the games are just flown off the shelves and uh, nobody's here. Actually, it's uh, Tuesday afternoon and these are all the volunteers helping us get the shelves ready. Where are all the games, Chris? Well, they're on boxes coming on truck number two. We have players wanted signs. We have Dice Tower signs going up. We have people setting things up. We're waiting on another truck. All of our shelves are only half full currently. We break fewer wheels this way. And looking over here, people are helping out, folding up the uh, shelf covers. Uh, Tom is standing around doing nothing, as per normal, and so things are going great. I'm super stoked. Gotta play something epic. Let's make it happen. Well, I was making fun of Tom for doing nothing, but what was I doing? I'm building a plastic snowman. Once there was a snowman. Oh, look, there's Sharon and Tom. Clearly. Clearly the masterminds were holding this whole thing. I was not certainly making fun of them just a second ago when they, uh, you know, out of earshot. Hey Tom, you're a super big help. Um, Boxes have shown up, volunteers are still helping. There's Camilla, unfortunately. And one of the great things about coming out to a Dice Tower event is seeing special guests and celebrities like Dan Hughes. Hello. Go back to work. Sorry, Chris. Hi Dan, we're vlogging in this retreat. Hello. Dan Hughes, everybody. Direct from the United Kingdom, land of um, Yorkshire puddings, yeah. meat, uh, pies. meat pies, uh, driving, driving on the wrong side of the road. The beginning, the opening of Dice Tower Retreats. See, how are you? Uh, how are you feeling so far? Let's get some gaming. All right. <laughs> Here's one of many views of the library. Oh. Worcestershire <laughs> sauce. Dan, I'm going to leave this phone on you for a tremendously That's long time. That's fine because I'm not going to do anything entertaining whatsoever. All right, so here's the favorite part, everyone's favorite part of the vlog. This is the uncomfortable silence part of the vlog. And... People just had an immaculate teach of Dice Manor. This is the new Dice Tower Essentials game, and they're getting an early taste of it. I also taught them, so they're off to a good start. What do we got over here? This uh, appears to be some sort of um, game. We're playing Block and Key with my buddies over here. And uh, yeah, That's not exactly what I want. it's going well. I, actually I don't know if I'm winning, but. Here. There's a game on a game here. This is the tiebreaker for Rococo. You play a game of Schwazia. Tom is over there running another game of Ready, Set, Bet. That's right, I said another, even though it's just Tuesday night. I am over here performing feats of architecture in Cloud City. First game of Touring Machine, how was it? Um, I, I won, so it's absolutely fantastic. I'm you still confused. You tied for the win. <laughs> Winning... It's 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 one. Over here we have the Galerist. This is uh, a Vital Asserta game about art. And uh, as most modern art performances are, this is completely silent. There are no players. The game is living art. Tom Bassel here. It is 5.30 in the morning. There's already one group of people playing. Is it 5.30? Maybe it's, no, it's almost 6. Okay, so I'm, I'm, there's Rod. We always play early in the morning because that's the kind of people we are. Everyone else is in bed. Look at this prize table. It's getting bigger every minute. Alrighty. Enough of this nonsense. I'm playing games. Playing some Mutant Genesis Marvel hey. Champion here with David. What's going on? This is amazing, folks. We have been... It is pretty early in the morning still. It is just shy of 11 a.m. And day one. And this place is packed. Well, yeah, we're going to try to run through a bunch of the campaign here to test it out. Just wrapped up the Teach for Spirit Island here with Jess and Jules and Sharon. What do you guys think? You ready? Yes. Yeah, Can we do it? Yep. Game exchange area. Look at this. We've got some fantastic items on here. We've got a full Descent in Shrink, Wonderland's War I saw, Foundations of Rome. 
We've got a mystery bag, Cloud Spire over here. I'm sure that's gonna be one of the first things taken. Some Final Girl stuff, Great Wall. Anyway, lots of good I stuff really here. Don't run into Mike oh, oh. <laughs> don't let anybody in here. Look at your, look at your friend. The brain burn. <laughs> Played Ready, Set, Bet three times already. Say something clever, Greg. Something clever, Greg. Cat in a Box is doing pretty well. But we're seeing old games, new games, all sorts of games being played. And that prize table just keeps getting bigger. All right, we just wrapped up our game of Spirit Island. Sharon with Sharon a power move. It. <laughs> it was so good. What do y'all think? Oh, loved it. Yeah, I it loved really it as good. well. Chris is over here yelling at some people. Uh, Dead Reconning is an exciting game of piracy and action, and I notice that the ship is very far away from the rest of the game. It is in timeout. It is a naughty ship. Justin is teaching the new expansion for Return to Dark Tower Covenant. So they set it up with my upgraded version of Return to Dark Tower. Uh, you see there's a few flags around the room, but there's not a ton of flags at uh, Dice Tower Retreat because you get in the game almost right away here. It's so easy to get in the games. Thanks, Susan, for teaching us lucky numbers. Ooh. Everybody did a great job. Some better than others. <laughs> this is early, folks. It's only 9 o'clock. Dan, what time is it in the UK right now? About midnight. Fantastic. 9 a.m. Alex over here with some cosmic Ooh, encounter. Oh, snap. Learning a game so when they get done, they can actually play another game. He thinks that he has friends. That's most unfortunate. Uh, so you can activate that. Like, Here's microwave tray the board game. These little horses are an abomination this to guy. true centaurs. Oh, oh, look at, look at the rainbow on the I'm going to kill that rainbow <laughs> so bad. People back here in this corner playing some crazy space game without me. We did, did you win? We did. No thanks to Tom. Let's, let's no explain how they won. The Tom humans died. opened the portal and all ran out Dead. of the portal and the left the horse dead. laying there. <laughs> Sounds oh, sus. Right but this oh, this yeah. particular copy was especially nice because it was painted. Yeah. Painted <laughs> by myself, yours truly, Mike Galicio. <laughs> and over there we have on Mars. There's see right straight ahead of me. Roy and them are playing a magic draft with stuff like the black lotus and things like that. So there's Mike being weird. More of our ongoing magic coverage. Playing that red deck wins. I'm trying to figure out what prowess is. <laughs> well, if you had box. more prowess, you would know what it means. We're playing a high stakes game of raw here at mm. the Dice Tower Retreat. I'm doing fantastically. Jason's Let, board. Let's not pay attention to Jason's um, board. Okay, let's just. Yeah. Let's just, oh, oh, my wife is calling. The less, I, um, the less said about Jason's board, I, the better. No. Doing okay right now. I have a sneaking suspicion I'm getting played. When in doubt, place this meeple right there on the board and just destroy <laughs> everyone else's meeple. engine, and then you'll be in the lead. I think that's my only hope at this point. You've got the master deep in thought. Look at him, look at him, deep in thought. And, of course, the world famous dice tower library is being put through its paces by all the lovely folks here at dice tower retreat mosaic wipe the table spread hello hello so here we have a board that we write the date on and then people trying to play specific games um, we have where they can write on there that they want to play um, I put Here's a Lander and Sea on here, and uh, Jeff, who's playing a game over there of Mosaic, said that uh, I wasn't. I should have posted it and we should play tomorrow because I wouldn't be able to fill up a game, and it was filled up as soon as I wrote it down. So I'm Chris Yee. Uh, I'm Dan Hughes. And this is Mike Delicio. <laughs> One of my favorites, Merchant's Cove, is being played here. The that, Holy Grail of Egg Cups, Dan. That is an artisan piece crafted with my own fair hands. Yes, it's quite the artesian effort, and, yeah. I, and I will cherish this with my... Oh, dear. Right, we are playing some junk art here. What happened to your tower, man? It's already out. <laughs> ah. A game that you probably will only see here. We've got Comic Hunters. Which Wonderful was taught by you, and I'm now teaching others, so... Look at that. Good job. Paying it forward. Delicio, you are the champion. Here we go with the epic seven-player game. Game of Heroes of Land, Air, and Sea. We have over here Stella. Now, I, was, I bet you're expecting me to scream the name Stella very loudly and obnoxiously, but that would be very rude towards our guests. All right, we are playing Project L. 
So collecting all the little Tetris pieces and trying to fit them all into our board here. Terracotta Army being played right here. This is Project Elite over here. Speed, Just, speed, look at him, kill him, kill him, get him, get him, get him. Blast those baddies. Is this monumental being played? Oh, this makes me happy too. The adequate Western Trail over here is in, in full swing. Look at those cowboy hats. <laughs> look at them. Yeehaw. That's admire a, them. That's a Tom hat. Today has been a day of long games. All right, so we just played a little bit of the others here. I was playing Pride. And let's take a look at, uh, I don't want to say the losers, but let's go ahead and take a look at the losers. You guys did terribly. No. So we are cleaning up Zaya. Um, Ruthie just wrecked us. Ah. But, uh, but yeah, me and Bruce blew up one too many times to make it happen. They did that mission, they did that one, that one, and then they were a little bit stuck on that. And I, I just, I killed too many of them. But they did all right. We can be proud. That's too much <laughs> pride. Too much pride. And if you're too proud, the rhythm is going to get you. We try to get money the easy way, and sometimes getting money the easy way doesn't pay. <laughs> you're just being a scoundrel, Bruce. Ooh, Acropolis. This is a popular game that uh, many people seem to enjoy. Well, if you want a quick rules teach, you're going to take this, you're going to spin around a few times and see how far you can throw the discus as they did in ancient Greece. Six moves up, eight wins. So eight is first, seven and 11 for 12, tied for second. So you can see over here in the corner, they're playing Android, the classic game that you're not going to get anywhere else, a long game. And this is like Long Game Alley. Here we have an upcoming game called Pampero. Here we have some people looking at Twilight Imperium. Here is a full game of Twilight Imperium with an amazing board. Looks really cool. And then next Twilight Imperium, we have people playing Dwellings of Eldervale. And then next to Dwellings of Eldervale, we have people over here playing Eclipse Second Edition. And then next to Eclipse Second Edition, the pirate game over here, um, which... Um, uh, for some reason is for, 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 for decorum a passive aggressive game of, of subtle hint giving and mostly death glares War of the Ring the card game uh, Ron is the evil Sauron guys the Dunedin and the elves and of course the evil monsters over here you know you're at the Dice Tower retreat when in the men's stall next to you, you hear someone watching a John Gets Games rules explanation video. Mike being sneaky up in here. Playing mind management. If only they could see my board, they'd know where I am. <laughs> <laughs> Twilight Triumvirate, uh, fourth edition here. This is a roll and write game. Hey Amanda, how long have y'all been playing this so far? Um, 9.30 in the morning. 9.30 in the morning, seven hours. You know it's a serious game when not only do you have a gigantic table, but you have side tables. And on those side tables, even smaller side tables with more things. This is just the victory point table. We're getting the team back together. Hey! From our various different locations, Tom is a man on a mission. He has one thing on his mind. Here it comes. Here it comes. Cut it. Cutting time is happening. Here it is. Cutting time Slicing is happening. It Here it is. Sometimes people copy your creative endeavors. There's a whole table here prepared already. I better taste all of these before we open the line. It would be rude of me not to. You could stop me if you tried. You can't stop the pie. A line of very happy customers have just torn through the remnants of what used to be pies. And these folks are ready for, for a second Wait, dose. I think you need a first chat, Chris. All of these people standing here, all of them, I even the first hit, Chris. are going in for their 17th slice of pie. It's 11.45 and Wendy is learning this, so I'm sure this is not a mistake. 11.45 post-meridian, p.m. It is 1.30 in the morning. Teaching some folks some sky mind. Teaching some folks about the moon. I think I might be winning. My, uh, I'm doing really well. But uh, at 1.30 in the morning, it's pretty empty, but we still have these groups of, I think they're playing party games over there. Saturday morning, this is the early morning crew here, look. This is it, this is all you got. Uh, they're here, I'm here, my caffeinated, non-carbonated beverage is here. Game exchange tables are there, getting ever, ever larger. This is going to be happening tonight at 8 p.m., so I know a lot of people are 
anticipating this big game exchange. We just finished up a game of Caesar's Empire. Dan, how does it feel to have complained your way into a victory? It's my general raison d'etre is complaining my way into victory. I make people feel so uncomfortable about me winning, losing. Oh, I'm not. I'm too tired to be on the dice. All right, one of my games that I wanted to play at this retreat was from 20, 2021, Overboss. Finally got it to the table. Thank you, Mac, for teaching and learning the rules here so we could teach. Is vanilla ice cream sweet or salty? Sweet. Strong, romantic, emotive. Which is more expensive, <laughs> okay, a gold yeah. watch, a leather bracelet, or the socks you're wearing? Synonym for a purchase. Sort the words mouth, nose, and eyes from greatest number of letters to least. Uh, a eyes, for a purchase. Mouth, no, a nose, mouth, eyes. Your first mate crosses his arms. Uh, how about we turn this oversized guppy into the local officials for some gold? He can't be up to any good. The most creative box I've ever seen. Ooh. Do you want to be on this side of the monsters? Oh, no. I, as the brave and fearless commander, I give my action tokens to my various subfield commanders, and they are out there executing my orders flawlessly, without any oversight or without any. Uh... Hey, Chris, what's the score? <laughs> uh, back to the giant griffin over here. Just wrapped up Project Elite here. Demolished. What do you guys think? Woo! <laughs> Chris liked it. That's what I'm wondering. We're happy to let you guys. I have a small little ego boost. At the end of the day, I still have soldiers and, and my trust and love of my comrades. Our commander right? is horrible. <laughs> the love Never and trust of my of my Never people. Again. all the tables for the game giveaway is what everybody's clamoring for. In fact, we have these secret bags full of games. What is this over here? What does this say? Ooh, international bag of mystery. Some huge pledges of all in stuff. Lots of hate. Lots of love. Oh my goodness, look at this. What? That is a treasure. That's so exciting. Happy people getting a lot of great games. Thank you. 
dashboard there in green, and it kind of matches up with the, the design of the cards. So you can actually make that ship more unique. Big target in your face, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's the last day of the Dice Tower mm. retreat, and get ready. It's it's becoming what's a tradition now, is Viking <laughs> Seesaw. And uh, he's going for the win. This would be the last in his supply. But also, it's never going to happen. This whole thing is about to cr collapse. <laughs> I don't want to say I don't believe in you, but uh, I believe in the laws of physics. Oh! oh a, but here's wow. the issue. I'm afraid that it will support the weight. And so now I think I'm going to get God. <laughs> Just got to play a little Jamaica, and I brought in my expansion so that I could put that in, and I had a great time with that, and I'm about to play some Empires of the North, which I've taught already once. And it's machine gun time. Chris, ah. we're trying to clean up, man. <laughs> taught that three times, and uh, now again, like I said, this is where Empires of the North would go. So lots, this little spot right here on shelf one, that's my little spot. That's my, that's my happy corner. Oh, it's been a wonderful week. Everyone has had such a wonderful time. It's just been so great seeing people coming together, playing some fantastic games and just having fun. I couldn't be happier with the way things went. We had a great group of people and I'm so glad to everyone who came. Well, I didn't really film too much on Saturday, uh, on uh, well, I didn't, well, I didn't film too much on Sunday here. People have been gaming, people have been having a great time, of course. And then one of the nicest things is that people volunteer to help out and to just help us get things closed up, get the shelves wrapped up and taken care of. And even people like Jeff, even people like Jeff are nice enough and find some joy in their hearts to help as we kind of wrap up. And that's it. The retreat was fantastic. As you can see here, we still have all these boxes that we haven't put back on the shelves. Some of the shelves have gotten full again, but we still have some work to do. And we're getting ready for the Autumn Spectacular as we speak. So there's a lot of things going on. But I'll tell you what, folks, from my perspective, that was one of the best events I've ever been to. We had so much fun playing games and checking them out. You got to come to the retreat. We'll open up registration for our next retreat in January. So we hope to see you then. But until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching our blog from the Dice Tower 2022 retreat on the Dice Tower. Here playing some of the mutants. What's the name of this? Why?